What's going on, Jerome's? So today is the big day. This this is the the uh, add on. This is the dessert after the main course of the preseason game, seeing JJ McCarthy, Diamond Dallas Turner, Bo Richter, etc. On Saturday, but oh yeah. Hey, uh, five-time Pro Bowl, two-time first-team All-Pro and Super Bowl champion 2019 NFL Defensive Player of the Year, Stephon Gilmore, I believe that's Mr. Gilmore's, uh, is visiting the Vikings today. You know, probably was chowing down on a little bit of Manny's last night and whining, dining, please don't leave. That's <laughs> basically what it is. And re respect to Quasi, like Quasi has been the closer this year, pulling off trades, getting his guys in the draft, inking up Jefferson and, and Darisol long-term. Uh, but Quasey, he basically he needs to make sure that Stephon Gilmore does not get on a plane today. All right, so basically he has to sign a contract and just like keep him in the sphere. And there, there's a couple reasons why. Number one, yes, it's preseason. Yes, as we've said, the secondary is going to look a lot better when once Flores is allowed to be Brian Flores and blitz the living bejesus and dial up exotic blitzes uh, on some of these quarterbacks. And respect to the Raiders, they came to play. But allowing Aiden frickin' O'Connell and Gardner Minshew to just feast, absolute feast on the Vikings in the secondary was, was, not, was not good. It was not good at all. And... You know, the whole thing about it is, too, is like Byron Murphy, the, Byron Murphy Jr. is our guy. Very solid. Like him a lot. So he played 14 defensive snaps. 13 were out at outside corner. Only one, Un, was in the slot. Now, some of that is personnel, personnel dependent, but also with all the injuries, Shaq Griffin, Makai Blackman, having Murph play outside, it's not part of the plan. Because that's basically what happened last year when the Vikings were thin at secondary. Uh, Murphy is a slot corner. And Flor Flores has talked all offseason about having Murphy more in the slot and signing Stephon Gilmore, uh, one of the best outside corners, one of the best outside press man corners of the past decade in the NFL, would allow the Vikings to have Murph be in the slot a lot more. So you basically improve multiple positions, bringing in Gilmore and then having Murph be exclusively in the slot. And of course, Gilmore having two years of crossover with the Patriots, won a Super Bowl together. It's fantastic, right? Uh, and, and Gilmore, hey, again, I fully understand. Like, hey, if you think that Stephon Gilmore is going to walk in here and be vintage, 28, 29 year old defensive player of the year, Stephon Gilmore, all pro, Pro Bowl. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen as he is gonna turn uh, turn the dial uh, to 34 uh, during the season. But is he a guy that can play some good snaps, play some good ball? Been a multi year starter over the last couple uh, of seasons, uh, even at various locations. Yes, yes. And you know, people will poo poo. It's like, uh, well, it was basically over after Justin Jefferson cooked him during the comeback in 2022. Again, I, I get it, but also Gilmore last year for the Cowboys, and the Cowboys were dinged up in the secondary, started all 18 games, uh, 17 regular season plus the one playoff game. Uh, 1,055 snaps played, 73 tackles, a forced fumble, 90.4 quarterback rating when thrown at, which in the grand scheme of things, given everything that was involved, that's not bad. Also, 13 passes broke, broken up, two interceptions, 71.2 PFF grade, which would have been the best uh, of all the qualifying cornerbacks on the Vikings last season. Uh, so, I, I, again, is he Pro Bowl Defensive Player of the Year, Stephon Gilmore? No. If that's your standard of expectations, especially for eight, nine million bucks a year, you're going to be sorely disappointed, right? So that's unrealistic. But is he a guy that would be a instant upgrade for the Vikings on the outside, a true professional who knows Flores, knows the broad strokes of the scheme, and does press man coverage uh, exactly the way that Flores wants to do this year and would allow Murph to play in the slot? Yes, that does make sense. And like we said, I mean, contract-wise, I mean, the Vikings have $18.6 in cap space. They have a ton more in 2025 if, if they want to add void year to this thing. But you know, uh, market value at about $9 million bucks. I would pay it, and I, I, I again, is this prime Stephon Gilmore? No, but also if this is prime Stephon Gilmore, you'd be paying twenty plus million bucks per season to do that. But in terms of a guy that can trust, set and forget it, suture it up on the outside for eight nine million bucks, yes, certainly would do that. Right, meow. Uh, and even though Shaq Griffin is going to be come back from that hamstring, 
having insurance upon insurance upon insurance does make sense. And sure, I mean, you could say, hey, just put Dwight McLaughlin out there. I would love to see him you know, rise up and be this year's Ivan Pace Jr., but are you going to bank on that? No. Or you could be like, oh, we could always sign Stephon Gilmore later. He's going to be in demand. All right. And even though he's entered the, the full-on – uh, mercenary stage of his career where this would be his fifth team in five seasons, I also do not care. He started everywhere that he has gone. He's gotten paid everywhere that he has gone, and he has done the job wherever he has gone. So I, I would certainly you know, take a chance on Stephon Gilmore. And frankly, like like I said, Quasey, do not let him leave the building. Just cook one more time, one more course. Baby, just get this thing done. And it would really put my mind at ease. Uh, again, the, the defense, I'm being allowed to blitz and just get after things creatively, definitely would help the secondary out. Uh, but also, are, are you going to stake the entire season on that? Or bringing in Gilmore now, where he also has a couple of weeks of, of practice to get up to speed, uh, get ready for the regular season, as opposed to bringing him in, I don't know, week two after the wheels fall off? Nah. Let's get this thing going. You have the money, you have the need, and you have the desire. Keep Stephon Gilmore here in the great state of Minnesota. Do not let him leave. Have this be the Hotel California. Once you check in at TCO Performance Center Bar and Grill, you can never leave. I've had a poopy day, and I hate the ep- Eagles, man. Anyways, uh, but your thoughts are thoughts. Stephon Gilmore, Mr. Gilmore, visits here today. Please stay. Uh, let us know your thoughts, our thoughts, comment section. You guys are the best. You know what to do. Skull production value.